Photography is a word derived from the Greek words photos meaning light and graphene meaning to draw. Photography comes in several genres such as aerial photography, paparazzi, food photography, fashion photography, just to mention a few. Fashion photography is a class of photography devoted to displaying clothing and other fashion items. It is most often conducted for adverts or fashion magazines. Over time, fashion photography has developed its own aesthetics in which the clothes and fashions are enhanced by the presence of exotic locations or accessories. Fashion photography has been in existence since the earliest days of photography. The first traces we have of fashion photography dates back to 1856, the year in which Adolf Braun created a photo book of Virginia Aldoni, who was the first model in history to be portrayed in official clothing. In the first decade of the 20th century, advances and half tone printing allowed fashion photographs to be featured in magazines. Fashion photography made its first appearance in French magazines such as La Mode Pratique in 1909. Nigeria is in no way left out of the trend of fashion photography, as we have individuals like Kelechi Amadiobi, Yetundu Ayeni Babaiko, Obi Somto, and the Nigerian-based Lebanese Mosa Musa, who have had their names in Boston photography and fashion photography in particular. Fashion photography is a very interesting section of photography that I am so interested in. I completely, at a point, was very obsessed with it. I don't think that obsession has worn out. And photography is one of the uh, pillars of a fashion. You cannot have a fashion uh, uh, industry and you don't have fashion photography. So it's a, it's a very big uh, part of it. And, and the, it, it continues the creativity of it. More you are cre even if you're cre creative in designs, photography will help you to show all uh, quality or designs are. Fashion photography is trying to sell clothes and pictures. That's what it is. Um, it's trying to tell stories that consumers, that people that, people that consume fashion would relate to it. That's basically fashion photography for me. Fashion photography, first of all, is a way of advertising and it's a way of making a statement. It's a way of, you know, letting the, the, the buyer, the consumer know, okay, this garment is not an everyday thing. Fashion photography is a beautiful, like, synthesis, you know, between commercial photography and pure fine art photography. Uh, on the face of it, you're just trying to sell clothes. But then, you can use the vehicle of fashion photography to say so many things and tell so many stories. And you then sort of end up getting your message passed because a lot of the women are still looking for clothes to buy. In this 21st century, every profession explores the use of technology to enhance end results. Kelechi Somto Musa and Yetunde capitalize on the invention of digital photography in their unique style of storytelling, using softwares like Photoshop and Darkroom to enhance their creativity. Technology, technology has been a very big part of fashion photography. I mean, there's, there's a lot of new equipment in the market which have certainly made things a whole lot easier. Like, I w I'm, I'm going to be quite honest with this. Technology is a big part of fashion photography because you have lights that give you more power, more speed, and um, lenses that um, capture more precise and um, details and all of this. Digital make it more creative because now with Photoshop, you can do anything. You can do a size 16, look size six. Uh, you can do an ugly woman, uh, the prettiest woman in the world. So uh, digital make it easier and more creative. Photoshop is, a, is an amazing, I don't use any other thing. I don't know what, um, if somebody else, but it's the most creative software you can ever use. It's a very rich 
software and you cannot stop learning in it because more you more you work on it more you learn other than the technical is the tricks the the adjustment a lot of things in photoshop that you cannot stop learning even if you are 60 years old working photography you still learn every day in photoshop when photoshop came out and i was quite excited because you know, then you could make whatever you wanted. You know, all you, you, your limitation is with your imagination. And I spent quite a bit of time understanding, you know, the vagaries of the Photoshop, uh, Adobe Photoshop as a digital dark room. And it was fun. It was fun. But I also eventually realized that you can spend all your life in front of the computer. But it also provided me with a set of skills that m made it possible for me to do uh, and execute some really complicated advertising, you know, briefs, yes. The younger generation looks up to this set in the world of photography. Hilichi takes out time to encourage aspiring photographers to be professionals and work to exceed client expectations. The well, first thing I would say is this. Take life one day at a time. There is no rush, you know. For me, life is like a journey. And what do you do? You try to enjoy the journey. There is no arrival. Arrival is death, you know? And for me, it's a continuation of time. And if you want to be a good photographer, make sure you enjoy photography. For me, I don't think it makes sense engaging in stuff you don't enjoy doing. So if you're going to enjoy photography, you will most likely have enough passion to push you through the training and all the rigors of you know, trying to perfect your craft. Um, so it's one day at a time. Don't worry about the future. The future is a mystery. And don't tie yourself to the past. Enjoy the moment. So for me, it's about can you enjoy what you're doing, but at the same time, learn the thread. Understand how to be a professional, be a, be a promise keeper. And whenever people employ you to work, make sure you exceed their expectations.